Hello again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 18th of January, 2019. Watched a rather interesting video, and it was sent to me by one of my friends out of Florida. The uh, title is George W. Bush Killed Thomas Young. It was published back on November the 13th, 2014. When I got it, it only had 8,420 views. It should have had a whole lot more. And what's written is, an Iraq war veteran and anti-war activist passed away yesterday, but he didn't just die. He was murdered. This was put up by the big picture RT. And what you're going to hear is about a young man that joined the military to try to get revenge on those that he was told took down the Twin Towers. It had nothing to do with Saudi Arabia or 19 hijackers. In either case, when he joined the military, he wasn't sent to Afghanistan. He was sent to Iraq, a war that George W. Bush took America into to help enrich in Halliburton. Dick Cheney, his vice president, and I'm sure himself. That war should never have been fought. It was fought on a lie, which was proven. If you watch some of my videos, I spoke quite often about George W. I said that he deserted the National Guard, and they make people like him commanders in chief. No different than Billy Bob Clinton dodged the draft, no different than President Donald J. Trump. He too dodged the draft. Bone spurs didn't seem to hurt him on a golf course, anyhow. <laughs> anyway, uh, this isn't about Donald Trump. In my previous videos, quite often I would talk about the bike race, the mountain bike race that George W. Bush holds every year for wounded veterans. I think that's his way of trying to ease his own guilt because he's the one that turned many of them into the condition that they're in, maimed and crippled for the rest of their lives. George W. Bush, Dick Cheney, Donald Rumsfeld, Connelly's Rice, they all need to be held accountable. Will they? Probably not. America won't be able to handle the truth. Watch the clip. You're going to learn why Thomas Young, who was shot in the neck in Iraq, he was paralyzed, never walked again. Why he finally decided enough was enough. And he wrote a letter to George W. letting him know that. You might want to repost this in all your social media accounts. You might want to pass along to your like-minded friends. You might want to send a copy to George. But then again, he knows, as does Dick Cheney, what they did, not only to go into the war against Saddam Hussein on false pretexts, but to take us into an 18-year war in Afghanistan. They took down the Twin Towers. It had nothing to do with 19 Saudi nationalists. There were no planes. The Pentagon was hit by a missile. And the towers were taken down with thermite and massive amounts of explosives. The truth needs to be heard. Thanks for listening.